It's tea time. This is where we spill the tea. People who want to have normalcy and raise their healthy family live in places like Long Island. Hashtag Long Island life. The hot teas, the hotties. I've had the opportunity to see some incredible beauty, some incredible sunsets, some incredible cultures. But at the end of the day, where do I want to be? Fire Island and Bayshore. Happened here on Long Island. Happened here on Long Island. Because you know why? Summers are awesome here. You're in there with the sharks. As long as you don't stick your arm out the cage, because you only can do that once. <laughs> First of all, I feel left out because there's a bottle of wine in between. Yes, we should have told you. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> what is Brioche? And you're the cousin. <laughs> Long, Long Island, Island Tea. Tea. All right, welcome back to Long Island Tea. <laughs> I'm Kristen. I'm Sharon. And this is the day. This is how it's going to go. <laughs> We're already. And we didn't even really pregame. No, not at all. Uh, we just just cracked this open. Yeah. So I'm going to, but you know, I, do I even need to ask how you doing? Oh, how you doing? Whoa. How you doing? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been so, oh my gosh, it's been great. We, this week has been a roller coaster, I feel like, and continues. Yeah. It's like yeah. so much. So much. So much good stuff. It's yeah. good. You're it's always all like that. good. I'm always like. Uh, Sharon, we're so busy. I know. And you know what? It's good. But um, it's just been an interesting week as as we reopen. And you're right. That's the good stuff. Everything's opening. The country's opening. I was on the phone with somebody today from London. And they're still not having indoor dining even for a couple more weeks. And so we're really lucky to be open and to be busy and to be back at things. So that's the good part. The, the, The frustrating part is just like how busy we are and trying to be everywhere and, um, you know, I, I don't know that people know the nuances of being a destination marketing organization like we are. Yeah, they truly don't understand, I don't think. You know, like it's, it's hard to, it's it's hard hard to hard explain. To. And yeah, because, I mean, what we do is so much so fun. I mean, for example, we unveiled our new angel wing. I know, so cool. And, you know, that was so awesome. It We had a great turnout. We had a whole press conference. Yeah, it was amazing. And Kara Hoblin, the artist, we talked about her last week. She was there, and we had all the people from Long Beach Chamber were there, and um, county executive, uh, Laura Curran, who's just, she's so sweet and wonderful. She was there. So many elected officials. It was a great turnout, and it was really fun. And and you know what? It was awesome because everyone was so excited. The Scootin yeah. family, yeah, who were like the so famous cute. surfers. Mm-hmm. It's on the wall of the Scootin Surf. So if you go to Long Beach Boardwalk, there's this gorgeous set of angel wings now right in the middle of the boardwalk on the Scootin Surf wall. And inside the wings have like things that are, you know, specific to Long Long Island. Island. Yeah, Yeah. it's awesome. And it's so, and everyone's so positive. And everyone's like, thank you, discover Long Island. I know. And it it was so positive. Like that's what was made it so amazing because everybody, it's like finally something positive to look forward to and and fun, you know, like get your Insta pic. And yeah. And then we filmed Long Island TV Mm -hmm. immediately following. And I'm like riding my bike up and down board. And it was awesome. My dress. I know. (laughs) And, and it was so awesome. And yet then at the same time, like we, you know, one of the things that is so challenging, and I always say this about being our jobs, mm-hmm. you know, being a destination mm-hmm. marketing organization, is that um, everyone is your boss. Yeah. Literally you have every literally every elected person. official, yeah. every person that has not only ever lived on Long Island, right. um, everyone that's ever taken a trip. Yeah. Oh, sure. My favorite thing about, I always tell people, like, it's, it's, The most challenging thing I think about my job is that when I tell people what I do, for example, we'll go to like a neighbor's house or a party or something and people ask Thomas, what do you do? And he'll say, I'm a cloud architect. Yeah. People are like, oh, cool. And I'll say, you know, what do you do, Kristen? I'm like, oh, well, I promote tourism. Oh, you know what you should do? (laughs) That's always the first thing. You know what really needs to happen? Oh, you know what you should do? Yeah. I'm like, everyone's an expert. Yeah. Of course. You know, like (laughs) everybody just just thinks that they know all. And that's fine. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I know we're talking about Vegas because you're going to Vegas soon, and which is so awesome. And I used to go to Vegas like three times a year. And I would always, you have your Vegas persona. Mm -hmm. I would would tell people I was a hair hair stylist (laughs) because I don't want any questions. Right. I don't want, oh, how do you do that? Where do you do? What do you, how do you, oh, tourism, you know, what you should do. Mm -hmm. Do you, I'm like, oh my God. Right. And so it can be. And of course, we had so much positivity, but then of course, I dwell on the one or you know, anytime somebody says we did something right or we could do we could sure. could be doing something better, and that's always true. We can always get better, but I'm like, I just it's 
it's so hard because no matter what we do, yeah, it's, it's never, never enough. right. Yeah. It's never yeah. enough. It's always like, oh, you know what you should do? You know right. what you could do? I'm like, right. you know what we could do? We have 10 people. Right. We're our working team, our team. Our little powerful team. I'm like, oh, my God. But, you know, again, 99% of what we hear is awesome and great. Yes. And yeah. then I get that 0.1% of, you know, we could have done this or you should be doing it. And I'm like, and I lose my mind. Right. Well, because it's, you know, it's a reflection on on us, you know, as a, as a DMO, but also like Long Island's our product. And we have such a hard time trying to get that voice out there. And, yeah. you know, we try to do the best we can. But like you said, there's always going to be that s- some person. But it's like anything in life. You know, there's yeah. always going to be that one person that's like, oh, you know what? You know what you could have done? You know, you should yeah. be doing more of? Yeah. I'm like, we, anyway, it's hard because um, you. I really thrive on being positive and, um, and you know, what would Jackie O do? Yeah. And always responding in a positive way. Yeah. And so sometimes, um, when I like start to feel like overwhelmed or negative or whatever, you know, my favorite thing to do is listen to like leadership yeah. podcasts or audible books mm-hmm. I, because you know what? It really is. It always brings me back yeah. to the purpose of why we do what we do. We're truly passionate. I just read this article uh, by Jack Johnson from Destinations International today. And it said, passion is a combination of love and hate. Mm-hmm. And, and there's a fine line between the two. And I thought that's so true because we're so passionate and, But you have to have both love and hate. And I think that's that juxtaposition of, you know, I'm so positive and and then I'll be like, oh, my God, I get so upset. Right. Right. (laughs) Exactly. Um, Or you you just hate the the way things are done or you want things to be done better. And and when I get criticized, it's because I want everyone to think that, you know, I want to do everything for everyone. Mm -hmm. I really do. I want everyone to be like, I want it. I wish I could. Um, So I'm going to talk about some of the leadership things later on in the podcast that um, that have helped me. And then I think that are really inspiring and, and and always can bring you back to that purpose mm-hmm. filled, you know, reason for getting up every day and doing what we do and yeah. maintaining a positive attitude. Yeah. Um, you know, and then I also also if I don't listen to leadership things, I pretty much dream of winning the lottery. <laughs> That's we all. I either want to be a better leader Don't or I just want all. to check out. Yeah. Yeah. But would you really, honestly? I honestly don't know. I don't think I would. You know what, though? But then you're like, you have to get up early, put your yeah, makeup on, or would you just... I mean... I mean, because the lotto know. right now, Sharon... $370 is, yeah. million. Dollars. That's, and we just looked. $254 million cash, cash payout. You're telling me. <laughs> All right, cut that in half. Right. You're coming to work. I will never hear from you again. I know, but I don't know. Like, You'll I don't, be on I some island. I can't. I just... I'll never hear from you again. You'll be like, Kristen who? No. That's mm-hmm. such false news. Um, <laughs> okay, so what would you do? Uh, you think you would come to work? No. I would want to work still, yeah, because I mean, first, I don't know. You know what you'd work on doing? Managing your money. Yeah, 100%. Buying new houses. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, managing, you know, more money, more problems. Isn't that what they say? You manage your you money. You ever watch that show on, um, what is it? Oh, I don't even know. Are you going to say My Lottery Dream Home? Yes. <gasps> I show, show too. And I, I literally love that show. But like show. he goes on about like how some people like will win, win the lottery and like they go through their money so quickly they and they blow it. And they, I don't know. I would manage my money. I love that show because um, you can tell where which season you're watching based on how many tattoos he has. Yes. Like exactly. Does, Did oh, it come up to his chin yet? He doesn't have yet. a neck tattoo <laughs> exactly. in this one. I love him though, David. Yeah, I know he's so cute. He's very he's very flamboyant, and I love him. Mm-hmm. He makes that show. He does. But it also drives me crazy when they don't spend all their money because I'm like, why am I watching you buy like a hundred fifty thousand dollar house in Arkansas? I think I, I would. Do I, that. Come on. I would do that. What are you going to do like, with all that house? I, I want to see someone's lottery dream home. I don't want to see them buy like an average. I would totally do like, um, what is it called? It's at the Playboy Mansion. What's it What's called? That? What a is grotto. That? You the would grotto. do a grotto. I would do a grotto. You're like, David. I need uh, a grotto. I'm going to spend $150,000. <laughs> and then 500000 on my grotto. But I would like a grotto. <laughs> and Butler service. Yeah. So, you know what? It's, I've thought about this. Like, if I won the lottery... I don't even know that I would move. I love my house. You know, I mean, like, maybe buy, like, little places, other places. Yeah. But honestly, what I would invest in, people. Yeah, like, help. Oh, then you have to manage them. But I'm telling you, getting my hair and makeup done. Yeah. Game changer. 100%. I was like, mm-hmm. if I could do that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I would do. Also, uh, I would get a private chef. 
Yes. That would make me only low calorie foods. Okay. That I don't have to do Weight Watchers or keto or whatever. Just make me stuff that is whatever diet I need to be on that right. tastes good. Right. Maintain me, please. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That and uh, a masseuse. Oh, good one. Mm-hmm. Good mm-hmm. one. Weekly masseuse. Yeah. You got to find the right one, though. But that's the thing. Like, what else? What, you would get a maid. You would get, like, yeah. butler service. I might get a pool. I'd probably, I'd get yeah. a grotto in. Heck Yeah. I don't know what happens in your grotto. That's kind of scared. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Listen, um, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah. I love also dreaming. in my backyard. <laughs> I know. <laughs> in my backyard. <laughs> or my backyard. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love my lottery dream home. I binge that. It's on Friday nights. And now they have my lottery dream home international, which is this other guy. Oh, my gosh. I didn't see that. It's crazy. They're like, uh, for 400,000 pounds, you get a a 1,000 square foot piece of crap apartment <laughs> with like a postage stamp as your awesome. backyard. I'm like, whoa. I'm so glad we live on Long I Island. Know. I mean, everything's relative. I would totally right? buy my own island. Yeah, it's, then you gotta maintain it. And private it. jet. Oh, private jet. And people whoa. to maintain that private island. Yes, see, then you got people on your payroll. Yeah. You gotta manage them. It's fine. Private jet though, yep. Yes. I'm picking up what you're laying down right there. Yeah, that yeah, would yeah. be awesome. I've never, have you ever flown on a private jet? No. Same, same. Piece. If you're listening, and you have a private jet, we're available. Sharon and I, <laughs> Sharon and I are game. Um, okay, so real quick, wine of the week. Uh, we're not gonna spend a lot of time on it because we talked extensively about Croteau last week, which was beautiful, and um, but we were drinking margaritas, yeah. So we didn't drink it, right? So uh, we're we're uh, reheating the, the wine tea <laughs> of the wine of the week, <laughs> and we're drinking the uh, sparkling rosé. Which one is this one? I can't remember. Uh, it's the same one as last week. Uh, the wine, sparkling. We'll we'll put it in the notes, but um, it's lovely and it's always perfect. And I'm, you know, cause after a week like this, I'm like where I'm freaking out and I'm fully mental, yeah. like straight Costanza. Yes, trying to rethink of everything I should have said to every single person all week. I know. I thank God for this podcast and for Long Island Wine Country yeah. <laughs> for sponsoring. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, the wine of the week, Long Island Wine Country is amazing. Um, and so. LIWines.com, obviously, for all of the great tasting rooms and vineyards. There are 57 distinct uh, wineries. And also, if you go to discoverlongisland.com slash tea, we have our uh, wine of the week deal. Yeah. It's I don't so know what cute. it is. It's pretty cool. Uh, I think it might be the lens one that we yeah, talked, that about, we talked the about, the three one where you get a white rosé and a red for $54. Which, which is such an amazing deal. Uh, I mean, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. And amazing, they're good. delicious the wines. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but we're going to, so if you go to discoverlongisland.com slash tea, we're going to, we now have our wine of the week deal on there. And so um, you can only get that there. And uh, we highly recommend you doing that. Yeah. So uh, Sharon, do you know what time it is? Ooh, it's tea, tea time. time. I know. Um, so, why don't you go first? All right. So I have some fun tea today because Catherine in our office, did I ever tell you that story about um, my car and the scratches on the side of it where it's like... Was I, it when the tree I, fell on it? No, I blamed Dan Oh no. for taking the car to, the, you know, whatever day. He went food shopping and I was like, he went to this like special meat market that we love and it's like a really tight parking lot. So he comes back and I see like these orange scratches on the side of my car, like full blown big scratches on the side and I'm like you took it to to that meat market and somebody hit my car I was so mad like he can control that yeah. anyway turns out it wasn't his fault it was mine oh what'd you do how do you I had- hit a cone at the preschool <laughs> how did you figure that out because it was there the next day and, and you're I, like I, oh like, that's almost orange. hit it and I was like oh there that's the orange paint mm-hmm. uh, did you ever so, tell him that no oh my <laughs> god you didn't. You didn't circle back and be no, like, "Oh, okay. because I All have right. a problem <laughs> every time I get a new car. I get into some sort of like fender bender accident, mm-hmm. like literally two weeks later." Mm-hmm. And it was like, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> Catherine in our office came up to me and she's like, "I have the fix for your car. It's called Car Carfident. It's an mm. ultimate scratch swirl remover." Apparently, it takes off any scratches. It works awesome. She found it on Amazon. Oh, cool. It's so awesome. I just figured it was a good tea because it's recommendable and it works and it mm-hmm. takes everything. Like, it's unbelievable. Oh, that's awesome. It's and really you know what? Weird. Something really cool uh, that we're doing is our own Amazon page. Yeah. I, don't I know. know. Is that's it up yet? I think so. I don't know. We'll have to look. We'll have to look. Yeah. Um, is it up, Alyssa? I don't think so. 
not yet. Okay. okay. So we're working on it though. So uh, we'll what we're going to do is we're going to have our own Amazon page for our favorites. either Discover Long Island or Long Island Tea Podcast. I'm not exactly sure. But then we're going to put all this stuff up there so that mm-hmm. you don't have to like go to the notes and figure it out. You can just go right on our Amazon page and buy it. And, and this will be yourself. there because it's amazing. I just thought it was like totally recommendable and worth the mention. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and speaking of Amazon, I just realized that because we're on Audible, our podcast is on Amazon. Yeah, I thought that was so cool. Yeah. So so if you're listening, please give us a five-star review either on Apple or on Audible or on Amazon, even better, because that's what helps people find us yeah. and, and learn about Long Island is when – you know, we grow in popularity. People like in the ratings, in the ratings. Like it's yeah. all it helps some weird Google and, eh, algorithm. Yeah, you know, wild. but it the the five star <clears throat> and the actual comments really really matter. So when you go to the Apple on your podcast, just scroll down, scroll, scroll down, 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 mm-hmm. and you'll see it says five stars, write a review, and same thing. You just Google. I went to Amazon and I just Googled Long Island Tea Podcast, or maybe I just Googled Long Island Tea, and it came up, and you can just scroll down and right. leave a review. Please do that. Yeah, it's it so means, important. Yeah, it means the world. And we'll and we'll read it on air yeah, when you do it. Yeah. So, yay. Um, is that your tea? That's my tea. I think it's worth the worth mm-hmm. the look up. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> cool. You know what else I learned? Just a sidebar. I had this really, when I was leaving Scottsdale, I had this beautiful farm. It was at like a farmhouse table. I love it. Yeah. Oh, God, it was like restoration hardware. It was so expensive. And I... And it was terrible because I would never let anyone eat on it. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. You're like, no. Because it was so expensive that I wouldn't let anyone touch it. Mm -hmm. And my kids were littler at the time. They were small. And so I used to fold laundry in it, whatever. And one time they put something on it and scratched it. And I was trying to sell it. And I was freaking out because it was a scratch. And my sister told me, you rub, you can rub an almond. If you have wood. What? Yeah. If you have wood on your table, you rub an almond on it completely takes away the scratch. What? That's some hot tea. Do it. You won't. That's I'm crazy. telling you. I was doing you won't. <laughs> I was like a skeptic and and it I don't, something I don't understand. about the almond covers the wood grain. I don't know. It was amazing. So try that too just for free. Um that's my super that's my tea for you. I, I have total other tea but um so so for tea time, you know, we were talking about like what I, what I do to try and like calm myself down when I start to become a hater on myself. And, you know, mm-hmm. I think that's just, I think when you're so, so passionate about what you do and, and, you know, again, this is a, a very important organization to me, not just for me, but because of the 10 families that we, that yeah. we, <laughs> that we employ. employ. Mm-hmm. And, and this matters. This is, these are people and their families and it's so important and everybody gives their heart and soul into this. And so, you know, the buck stops here. And right. so I'm always like, right. oh, my God. Um, so what I try to do, and I always try to make us better and listen and learn. I have a couple of things. I have a podcast that I love listening to. We talked about, you know, another podcast we liked last week. But this week, uh, Leaders Who Lead mm-hmm. is a great podcast. And the guy who leads it is so nice and unassuming. And I guess he used to be like the CEO of uh, Pizza Hut, Kentucky Fried Chicken, and Taco Bell. Wild. He's like a big deal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And now he does this podcast. And he has every major CEO on there, and I love it. And I also learn about brands that I didn't know about before. Right. So you've had Starbucks and Panera. Panera, he was amazing, the CEO. Wow. And just most recently, it was uh, Kind Bars. Oh, okay. Which I love. My kids yeah. eat those like yeah. crazy. But there was new uh, products, too, like Wheezy towels, which I'd never heard of. I'd never heard of that, yeah. And I was obsessed with her story. It's this woman-owned towel company from New York City, and, and they – like wanted a towel that was super soft and also absorbent, wow. which is hard to find. Yeah, exactly. And uh, the lady that started Hint Water. Um, oh, okay. And how amazing that is and how she came from a tech background. And it's so cool to hear these leaders. And they all have like a, a common thread. Yeah. You know? Yeah. They have this theme that's like, um, you can tell we're in New York because it's like. Sirens. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they all have this common thread of character and, you know, and passion and, and, um, brand promise and doing what you believe in and 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 lifting up the people that work with you and for you Mm -hmm. and it all comes back to that it's not about like oh business savvy and this and that and so i always feel better because i feel like that's that's what we do yeah it kind of reminds me of that uh show undercover boss yeah where it always like reveals their ceos and their leadership skills Mm -hmm. and whether or not they care for their employees or you know 
You can tell. You can tell. Right away. And some of those companies are really big. And and I, I this is me. I'll be like driving and they'll say something amazing and I'm in my notes. Like I'm taking notes on my phone. I'm texting. <laughs> so cute. I'm like, oh my God, he said the most amazing thing or she said the most amazing thing. And um, it, it was like one of the things that I think it was Kind Bars that was saying the other day was, you know, you can't do what your competitors are doing mm-hmm. because that that are bi- that are bigger than you. You can't compare yourself to them right. because they're always going to outdo you. Right. And I feel like that. Like right. Discover Long Island, we don't we don't spend we spend a fraction. I mean, of our, what? Yeah, yeah. Our we budget is three million. We're next to New York City. They spend thirty seven million. And everybody's like, you know? "What can you do better?" You're yeah. like, "California's budget is whatever." Two hundred and ten million dollars. California you know, spends. That's what they do. San Diego alone spends $42 million. So I'm kind of like, we have, you know, three, which I'm not complaining, but it's just, it's hard. And so what I think we've done, though, is they're like, you have to be, when when you're competing and you don't have the same resources, Mm -hmm. it's all about creativity. And creativity is what makes you rise above. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've done, right, with this podcast. and So I'm always like, I'm always invigorated when I listen. And the Panera... CEO just like totally blew my mind. I loved him so much. I took so many notes and he talked a lot about compassion and um, you know, who, anyway, I just, you got to listen to leaders who lead because it was fabulous. But he said, you know, they're like, what's your favorite book? And he said, the seven habits of highly effective Which people. Which is so incredible. Which is like 15 years old. Yeah. yeah Cause right. It's like- so I'm like 15 years old, this book. Uh, I mean, I read it, I'm sure 15 years ago. Right. Exactly. I mean, Same. I'm not going to say I read it. I owned you, it. You glanced at it. <laughs> thumb, I thumbed you, through you it. You skimmed it. <laughs> but know? no, it was. It was. I remember. Yeah. And so it made me think. And so, of course, on Audible, which mm-hmm. is amazing, I and I and it's really cool, this new Audible technology, because it's not just reading it. You get to hear the author right. read tell the story it. to yeah. you. So I've been listening to The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and it's so amazing. They talk about you know, leadership, but not just leadership. They talk about everyday life and being a proactive person and and the way you, and it makes me think of, again, what would Jackie O do, right? Mm -hmm. They're talking about um, being responsible. And he's like, just think about that. It's response-able. You're able to respond. Yeah. You get to choose. Yeah. If you're happy, if you're sad, it's response-able how you choose to every single situation, how you choose to respond. That's 100% correct. And it's and everything and every aspect of life, it's your choice. Yeah. And you he know? challenges you. He's like, think about, you know, th- listen to the people that say, I can't, or if only, or right. if this, or that. Right. And instead of, I will, or I want right. to, or I'm going to. I and can. I, yeah. yeah, exactly. And so, anyway, when you're feeling down a little bit, you know? <laughs> a little <laughs> solemn. Like, yeah, I just think that leaders who lead is awesome, and I, I sprinkle it in with you know the celebrity ones right. and the and the ones about the fun ones. You the, can sit with yeah, us, exactly. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I sprinkle it in. I don't just just listen to it, but it does. It really does help inspire me. Yeah, and remind me as sometimes when you start to get down on yourself, and we're all so our own worst critics. Yes, I tell you that all the time. You know, like every time we have like a wrap up after something, I'm, and you're always like, and I'm always like. You're your own worst critic. You did amazing. This was awesome. Every time Whatever. I'm like, and then people are like, yeah, it's so amazing. And then I'm like, oh my God, we're going to fail. <laughs> and But you know what? Uh, Will Scudin, who's a world-class surfer, again, and we were talking to him yesterday on Long Island TV, and he said, I was like, so what do you tell people that want to go surfing but that are scared, you know, mm-hmm, like me? Mm-hmm. And he goes, you should be scared. Yeah. Yeah, it's the ocean. Yeah. It's a powerful thing. Right. You need to have fear to respect the power of the ocean and I thought that's such a great lesson not just for that but for everything like just I you know I go through everything with like a total sense of fear right that it's not going to work right <laughs> and then when it does I'm like oh look yeah, at that exciting that's amazing yay yeah um but anyway sometimes it, it keeps you grounded to approach everything with a certain amount of fear and respect and respect yeah, yeah. anyway so uh hashtag Long Island Life how's your Hasht- Long Island Life going hashtag Long Island Life it's good feel like uh this week we've we've had some good stuff going on uh we already talked about the angel wings but Mm -hmm. i just thought that was so incredible i really did i think that you know we had so much people there the positivity was awesome we you know hung out in long beach for the day but like the coverage we got on it yeah amazing it was so awesome i mean can i can i talk about people were like messaging me like oh my god 
you guys are on CBS too. Oh my God, you're on News 12. Oh my God, I saw this article. Oh my God, you know, like. It's just so fun to watch people because we, you know, we try to do innovative things and utilize, you know, mural art and street art to inspire people and expose them to local yeah, art and artisans yeah. and also drive, you know, economic development. And then when you see it, in action and people we unveiled it and immediately there's like little girls yeah, and like so cute. Uh, the, even the the adorable newscaster CBS from CBS reporter, she was adorable two. I don't know her name but she was Danielle something she was so cute and she was like taking her picture with it and you're, yeah it just makes you feel so good like wow I just you know we, we just, did that we did that you know we just did something that everyone it makes it just brings joy yeah so much joy and exposure to like a little bit of local art so that's awesome can I talk about a Long Island thing yeah um, so there's a Long Island, like, I remember when I first moved here and I got invited to my first gala. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, my God. There's a gala. a gala. I mean, and I love, I always, you say gala. Oh. It's gala. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh, okay. No, but that's, it's Long Island. Long Island is that, would be like gala. So is that like, aren't there apples called gala apples? Gala? Gala? I don't know. Yeah. But I always say gala. It's gala. Okay. So, you know, funny, um, when we were filming the brunch episode, mm-hmm of Long Island TV, I was talking to Nikki and we I was we were doing the intro where I was pouring syrup over the syrup. Right. <laughs> over the French toast. I'm like, this is gonna be like a syrup lake. And Nikki's like, I love the way you say syrup. Uh, yeah. I'm it's like, syrup. how do you say it? And she's like, syrup. Syrup. I'm like, mm. and so then I've been doing this ever since then I ask people and I'm like, how do you how do you pronounce what you pour over pancakes? Huh. And Thomas said I was syrup. Say, how does Thomas say it? He says syrup. And then I said to Kenzie, like, how do you? She's like, syrup? I'm like, yeah. right. <laughs> Chris, you say syrup? <gasps> of course. Chris no. is West Coast. Yeah. In the house. <laughs> Represent. And you say syrup, <laughs> Alyssa, right? My husband says syrup. Syrup. I what? Say syrup. We've had this debate so many times. Wow. <laughs> That's so funny. It's syrup. It's so <laughs> gala, gala, syrup, syrup, um, which is funny mm-hmm. when you start to drill I say or- orange. 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 I say orange. Orange. You know what? I say school, and Thomas says school. He says it like in two syllables. School. It's Having a day at school. Yeah, school. I'm like, it's called school. School. Anyway, um, <laughs> we could do this all day. I know. Clearly, we could especially totally with the do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Thank, have I haven't said it? Thank, thank God thank for you, you, Long Island Wine thank Country. Thank you, Long Island Wine after Country. After this week, because honestly, this is just mm. such a treasure. Um, but, uh, I'm going to still say gala because that's how I pronounce it. I'll never forget. I was like, oh, my God, this dress. And then turns out, like, literally every week there's a gala <laughs> on Long yeah, Island. That I didn't, yeah. No one tells me these yeah, things. Yeah, when we were planning ours, we are like, we got to look at the competition. See yeah, when everybody's we, I was playing. like, why don't we have a gala? We need a gala. We need to start one. So yeah. we started one. Right. Because literally everybody has them. They're ev- galas, like, every and day awards, of the week. And yeah. at the awards. And so I mentioned last week, like, the, t- the LI Press Top 100 power list. Power, yeah. Which I went to, and it was so lovely at the Carlton, um, which is this incredible catering hall in Eisenhower Park and in all Nassau at the County. Carlton. All these, Are they? All these <laughs> galas. Yeah, they're Carlton. all. There's like there's like a handful the of places course, it's that they're all. And it was amazing, and yeah. it was such a trip being there. I know. Like, let's talk about that because it was the first in person. It was event. weird. It was weird. How many people were there? Uh, well, there was a hu- powerless one hundred. Yeah, I would say there was probably seventy five people there. Okay, um, and it was very socially distanced and spread out. But it was a trip going and having seeing like the buffets. Not that was a buffet, but there was like different stations. Yeah, yeah. And the, the step and repeats and and just seeing people in person that, that I haven't, haven't seen, seen in, in a over year. year. And I'm like, and here I was like, and we're back. We're all yeah. sitting at the table together again. Like it was just like you woke up from a coma. Yeah. Wild. Because you're immediately back, right? And the like, same people that you used switch. to see every week at every gala, yeah, <laughs> yeah, know, are sitting around you. And the awards, it's so funny. It's like a thing, right? They have, and so I just got another one from Long Island Business News Top 25 Power Women. I think I don't know women. Anyway, I was like, it's so funny. There's all these awards every yeah. week. There's an award to be top for something. Power Women. I wonder if they cut it Ooh. in half because of COVID. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I oh. wonder. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but it's just such a funny, like, Long Islanders love to recognize, um, yeah, well, you know, because, top, yeah. which is awesome. And and going back to the whole leadership thing, um, speaking of incredible leaders in our community, when I was there at the Power 100, I was like, it was so surreal. But then the keynote speaker was Michael Dowling, Amazing. who is the CEO yeah. of Northwell Health. Mm-hmm. I just want to give it, like, 
in case you don't know about Northwell Health. Oh my gosh. It is the leading healthcare provider. They employ, I want to say, God, he gave me the number. It's like hundreds of thousands of people, right. obviously. Uh, the biggest in New York State, and they're based here on Long Island. Michael Dowling. I feel like everything's owned by Northwell. Yeah. He got up, and they were leaders in the vaccine, not only vaccine, but the COVID response right. and the vaccine. And they gave the very first vaccine in the in the country, it was right here on Long Island to one of the nurses. Right, right. And um, hearing him speak, and again, not on a Zoom. Right. In, <laughs> but he in got real life. and spoke in person. Yeah. It was, I mean, we gave him a standing ovation because uh. he, he really tackled, speaking of strong true passionate leadership he was like look you know hindsight's twenty twenty. we could have done things differently but i think we handled it pretty darn well right and i agree by the way i'm so proud to have northwell health you know as a long island business right exactly that is like a, a, a national leader in yeah. healthcare. it's really incredible what they do and, and and but he said you know what gun gun control this is mm -hmm. a healthcare crisis he said you know what did he say he was like um six people died from the Johnson and Johnson vaccine, right? Mm -hmm. Blood cl blood, blood clots, clots related yeah. to that. He goes that same week, twenty four people died in gun act gun shootings. Right. But he's like immediately they stopped the vaccine. Right. Halted across. He's like, yeah, nothing happens with guns. I, yeah. And you know what? And whatever your position is on these things, it, it was brave. It was courageous for him to get up and speak from the heart and speak about what he believes needs to happen yeah. in society. And he's like, we, he goes, you know, it's been a very, very difficult year mentally for so many people. He goes, we have to be, we have to approach everything with optimism. We, we've got to stop this negative Negativity. narrative. Yeah, exactly. We've got to be optimistic. We've got to come together. We've got to be unified. This is the time for people to stand up and be courageous and be strong and, and really, and I was like, I damn near cried. I was I'm like, sure. I, I get so Michael emotional. Dowling, like, the fact that even he he tied in like hindsight's twenty twenty, mm -hmm. you know, to the twenty twenty year that we've oh. had, like that's that's amazing. Well, you know what I love about it is like again, w this is what we do. W we can always improve. A hundred. We're never like, yeah. oh, we're the best ever. Right. We can, you know, when people criticize us, we're like, okay, it's hard. Criticism is hard. Yeah, it hurts a little, but. But you stand back up. You, it. you get back up again. Seriously, acknowledge it and learn from it, and mm -hmm. always grow and thrive. Anyway. Michael Dowling with Northwell Health was like amazing. Talk about power. And 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 leadership. Yeah. And visionary leadership. And what he says is what we always try to do is, you know, being positive. It takes work to, to be, be positive. A hundred percent does. It and really that's does. what it's the same it all goes back seven habits says the same thing. Yeah. That's yeah. that's your proactivity and being how you respond to things. You can either you can either say, Oh, I'm so this or that, this is against me or my boss is a jerk or whatever and I can't, or you could say, this is my response, no, I'm gonna be positive, I'm gonna do the best I can do, I'm gonna overachieve, mm -hmm. this is it. Yeah. I'm gonna give my whole heart and if people decide not to do it or whatever, that's it. That's I there, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, galas are a thing. They are a huge thing. Galas. Galas. Mm -hmm. I don't know that I'll ever say gala. But, you never will. But they're coming back. <laughs> it's almost that season again where yeah. we're gonna start seeing everybody and it's it's a trip, but it's awesome. I think that's awesome. Like, that's your first sign right there that, that Gala's are back. Gala. <laughs> yeah. They're back. You know, like we're getting there. I think, you know, with the vaccines and everything like that, like the governor constantly, you know, doing updates still, yeah. you know, which is awesome. But we're getting there, you know. And you know what? Again, just the I think we still haven't really processed because when I was there, it was so amazing and trippy to see people and to just, you know, give people an elbow, elbow bump bumps. or yeah. fist bump yeah. or sometimes a hug. Yeah. If we both well, fully it's funny, like even during the press conference, you know, we saw some people that we haven't seen in a while and like first thing you say is like, are we hugging? Is it okay? I'm like, I'm fully vaxxed. It's okay. I'm okay. Are you I said, okay? This is, this is our new greeting. Hi, yeah. I'm, I'm fully vaxxed. I'm fully vaxxed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it's, it's true. I mean, you have to have that precaution, yeah. but it's also like that, that humble, you yeah. know, humbleness of it. But where never like, underestimate because you know what it did is uh it moved me to hear him speak and it inspired me mm -hmm. in a time when we all need inspiration mm -hmm. right now. I mean, we're all still adjusting. A lot of people are just now going back to yeah. work and, yeah. and, and, and and as things open up or people are traveling again or whatever our adjustment that we're all going through, it's not easy. Adjusting, transitioning is right. never easy, but um, it was so wonderful. And I was like, 
I, 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 I was able to pitch some business. I was like, I pitched yeah, some ideas awesome. to people in person that I would never have had the opportunity right. to do. Well, and you've had a couple of meetings lately that you're been, like, it's Ooh. Been, I know, <laughs> I know. So um, I still love my podcast and, and Audible, but in person, you can't replace. Um, also, one thing, Long Island Life, because we're talking about hashtag Long, Long Island Life, just so you know, I was looking the other day on Instagram, mm-hmm. hashtag Discover Long Island. I know. It's like 90,000 hashtags. It's so funny because you had came to me the next day and we're talking about it. And I literally went down that rabbit hole like that (laughs) night too without even knowing you were doing it. Like it was just something I was like, let me see something. And I didn't even take part of that recognition that there's 90,000 people hashtagging Discover Long Island. And I was just like interested in see, you know, what that what that post was. But wow. And isn't it cool? Like I follow hashtag Discover Long Island and what they're posting and tagging is awesome. I learned so, so much. much. Yeah. I know. So, um, you know, hashtag Long Island Tea, too, I guess. I mean, I like. Mean, let's start it. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> we started Discover Long Island right. five years ago. Exactly. There was like, like zero. Three. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Okay. There was three. But now there's 90,000. So how cool that everyone's like engaged yeah. in, in what we're, you know, wanting to hashtag Discover Long Island. I loved that. So. That's awesome. Um, Anyway, hashtag Long Island Life. It's it's a pretty it's a great place to be, and I'm the weather's beautiful. I know. I'm excited about you know summer. It's coming up. It's coming. It's coming. We got some fun things planned. Oh my god, I know. I'm so excited. Um, okay, but so next is uh, so can it can I just can I derail um, sure. or uncorked advice real yeah. quick? Okay. Let's just have some uncorked advice, celebrity edition, because doesn't it just make you angry? Do you know what happened with J Lo and no, A Rod? No, I can't. I can't keep up. Like it's unbelievable. Do you, you know guys he, are beautiful. So, so the stop. Right. Just love each other. Come on. Nope. It's over. No. No. Mm-mm. Sharon, I disagree. J Lo, like, kick him to. Uh, did you the ever curb. see her true Hollywood story? Kick him to the curb. Why? What's wrong with him? Because uh, supposedly, according to TikTok, <laughs> he cheated on her. With the reality star of oh, uh, Charmed, with that Southern Charmed. I don't even know. It's like a reality. It's like the Real Housewives of Charleston. Okay, all right. I'm like, really? You, you have J Lo, and you're gonna cheat. But you know, doesn't that just make you realize? You know, we talked about like, again, being your own self critic. Yeah. And having so much pressure on yourself, and we all do. Mm-hmm. Like we're talking about our skincare r- regimen and our weight loss and our hair and and how successful we are and how smart we are and how powerful we are and how much money we make. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter because A-Rod's just going to go with some 20-something year old yeah, well, on yeah. a reality show. Please. I can't. But don't you feel like these, like the J-Lo, the Jennifer Aniston, the Charlize Theron, the Sandra Bullock. Well, look at these women. They are so amazing mm-hmm. and powerful. And like they have this confidence about them, right? hmm and then you have these men who they're dating, and mm-hmm. you and you question that, and you're like, "Why is she with him?" Right. We're like Gwen and Blake, Adorable. my Blakey. I love him. I thought J Lo and A Rod. I really shipped them. Yeah, they tried like 11 years ago, and they're trying again. Stupid. But it, so, what do you do? Like, cause she tried Mark Anthony, which was a complete derail. Right. She tried Dead. to go someplace else. Like, what do you do? It, it, how do you find the guy that is that respects you? for your beauty and your talent and all of these things, but also is your equal. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. so hard. It's so hard. As, when you reach that pinnacle of power as a woman, I think, you know, men, and I experienced this a little bit when I was single, not that I'm like super powerful or whatever, but just people, lo- they're like, oh, I love a strong, powerful, independent woman. But then they wind up being intimidated until, by. And Yes, exactly. They all think they want that. Right. And then right. you're like, no, I'm not going to change my whole schedule around right. you because I have my own schedule that's right. equally important to right. yours. And right. then they're like, oh, never mind. I remember I was dating this one guy and I said something to him, like I called him out on something and he's always like, I love, you know, what I, oh, I love about you is I love the way you challenge me and this and that. And mm-hmm. so I called him out and he got really defensive. And I was like, I thought you said you loved being challenged. And he's like, yeah, but not like that. Yeah. Oh, oh okay. Oh, you like being challenged in the way that you, you want, want to be to challenged. challenged. Exactly. <laughs> Which is, Stop. Actually, not a challenge. Right. <laughs> Turns out it's Turns, just a game. That's, that's, not what, that's not the definition of challenge. Yeah, exactly. Is when someone asks you something and you don't want to deal with it. Right. But that's so, but I feel like, you know, like we're talking about my bestie, Drew Barrymore. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was my best friend. She doesn't know it yet, bestie. but she's my total best friend. Oh Aside gosh. from you, she's my second best friend. Right. But um, yeah, these, these women that yeah. are successful, how 
it's so it's almost like the more successful and the more you work it, beautiful that you are and yet we all aspire to be like them right I don't and they know. can't I don't find know what real the answer love is. I don't know I think it's like I don't know it says a lot about that about our culture yeah we put so much emphasis on beauty and fitness and, and power and, and you know and yet the reality is is like I don't know you just you have to find that balance yeah be humble stay humble I, but, I, but I don't think these women are not humble I mean I Sandra know. Bullock I, I don't know her. you don't know I would love I feel I like I do know bestie. them <laughs> I know but like you know like you go to Gwyneth Paltrow she just like went on this tangent well, Gwyneth Paltrow I mean, is super judgy side. I mean I don't know her but I'm like her I only eat raw food and I only use organic goop very very expensive I'm like come on she's not just an weird, average like, I don't know it's weird She's not an average. Her daughter's name is Gayla Apple. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Gayla Apple. It's, it's just not, Apple. It's and Apple. I don't mean to. I don't mean to ever say Stop anything about shaming. someone's children <laughs> because it's actually cute. Yeah. Um, but I just think that you know these women. That anyway, I, it's hard. You know, getting older is hard. Yeah, Sharon. A hundred percent. I'm older than you are, and and it's not easy. I don't feel old, but I'm like God. You, you know, you try to you try to look at these women, J Lo, Sandra Bullock, and you're like, oh, they're you know they're this age, Selma Hayek, and you're like, Jesus, why don't I look? Because they won the celebrity lo- lottery, right? You try to hold yourself to the same. <laughs> they became one. celebs, and they have all this money to like do nothing but work out for eight hours a day and have like. I know it's still hard care. though. I still give them credit because you know if I won the lottery, <laughs> would I still work out eight hours a day? I probably would. Yeah, because you have nothing else to do. Don't but I would still work. Oh my god, I was at bar the other day, and the girls were like, "Oh my god, did you triple today again?" I tripled. I was like, "Can you stop? Who triples? That's like yeah, that's three I can't. hours." Anyway, I I don't know. You could give me an entire. I I could be unemployed, and I I don't know that I would triple. I don't even. Yeah, no. <laughs> I might. I might if I was bored enough. I don't know. I don't know. No, no. Anyway, cheers to the you know, cheers to the women. I hope they find love because I think they're amazing people and and they work so hard. And I just I don't know. My heart goes out to them. You're so humble. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I want J Lo to find love. Why is it? Am I? Is it? Is it me? I like. I, I don't know. Like I'm totally gonna say something. It's got to be her. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, Chris J-Lo. is nodding. I love Chris you, is but it's got to be you. It's, it's got to be something. Yeah, like some, you know, like I don't know. Yeah, there's something. I guess you have to. You're know, right. It's it's a compromise. It yeah. takes two. Yeah, relationships are hard. They are, and it takes two to tango, no matter what you're doing. Yeah, and you have to always. They like you said. They are, they take work. Yeah. So yeah. I I just can't believe it. She done J Lo with some show, I mean, some reality geez. show, but sure, whatever. Um. Anyway. So I feel better about eating that taco later than I'm going to eat because I'm like, look, it doesn't matter. Right. Turns out, right. ladies. Yeah, it's fine. fine. Yeah. It's fine. Just be you. Just be you. Be you. Be you and be loving mm-hmm. and be with somebody that loves and respects you for you. Yeah, exactly. And you don't have to work so hard to be this perfect, you know, thing. As long as you're happy within yourself and in your soul. I mean, I'm not soul searching right now. Or no, like this is finding good. the stars, but mm-hmm. it projects. Um, teasers. Teasers. So we got some good teasers coming up. Um, I'm excited for this month because we have some fun things going on, like the the air show coming to Jones Beach. I'm so pumped. Should we tell people what we're I doing? I think we should. Okay, I do think it. You so. do it. So we've gotten a lot of feedback from people like saying, um, you know, like take the show on the road, go out and, and, and be, you know, have your podcast live, live. And yeah, we represent Long Island, Island, and we're bit, like always in my own corner of my own. Right, house. exactly. They're like, go somewhere, go to the vineyards, go here. So we're gonna actually um, do a live broadcast on our podcast for the Jones Beach Air Show the Friday before. We'll do. But is it live? No, no. We're, so we're recording, we're recording it. it. Okay, wait, wait. Sorry. So yeah, we're gonna, but we're gonna record it at the Jones Beach Air Show, which yeah. is iconic. Iconic. You're gonna hear some planes in the background. It's gonna be. Um, I don't know what's gonna happen. Listen, it's gonna be uncut. It's gonna be. Uh, Real, the real real yeah you know like it might be a disaster what listen it's gonna be fun this is me this is me. me i'm like this is what i'm saying like oh exactly. it's gonna be it's gonna, and i'm no. like no it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome <laughs> you're right so that's a teaser i think that's awesome yeah um that is awesome I'm we excited. have some litv episode mm-hmm. coming up mm-hmm. which is cool belmont steaks and fire island this is how you know it's, it's summer yeah it's summer we're yeah here. we're here um, awesome. Yeah, so I've got my Belmont Steaks little 
fascinator. I love it. And I can't to figure out a dress to go with it for the Belmont Steak Show. I love it. Yeah, I'm excited. So uh, it's, it's, here we go. It's summer. We're doing all fun sorts of summer stuff. We're also going to be talking about um, golf on Long Island yes. and music on Long Island yeah. coming up and um, uh, history. We've got this Cole Perspiring new book that just came out. So we're going to talk to that author. We've got some cool stuff coming. It's so make awesome. sure you I'm stay excited. tuned in. And uh, please leave us those five star reviews. Please go to longisland.com slash tea. Check out the Wine of the Week deal. Don't forget to get that merch. Get that merch. Okay. .discoverlongisland.com. Yeah. And uh, please just email us, engage with us, send us your uncorked device, and, uh, and we'll see you next week. Cheers.